your CNOS Health Watch on Siouxland News. Shoulders are a very movable joint, but what happens when they get pushed a little too far? Siouxland News reporter Katie Lake went to learn more in tonight's CNOS Health Watch. The shoulder is a very mobile joint and it achieves that mobility at the expense of stability. Dr. Brian Johnson is an orthopedic surgeon at CNOS. He says about half of all dislocations are in the shoulder. Arm acts as a fulcrum or a lever arm on the shoulder. A standard 30 inch arm from t fingertip to the shoulder uh, with 33 pounds of force in the hand would actually apply a thousand pounds of torque at the shoulder to causing it to want to pop out. So why doesn't it? So it's amazing that our body's able to adjust the position of the ball in the socket to keep that from happening more often. We have 17 muscles to move and help stabilize the shoulder, as well as a bone structure to help keep things in place. But a fall or sports injury can change that. Tear or stretch the capsule in addition to tearing the labrum in order to dislocate your shoulder. Dr. Johnson says it's important to reset the shoulder as soon as possible. Leaving a dislocated shoulder can lead to nerve damage. The chances of it dislocating again are 50%. If it happens twice, those chances jump to about 75%. If it happens a third time, it's up to 85%. After a fourth time, then it's uh, over 90%. Really a question of, or a matter of when, not a question of if. Most of the time, a doctor can simply pop a dislocated shoulder back in. First-time dislocators don't necessarily always need surgery. But if there's a serious tear, it may need surgery. For Siouxland News, I'm Katie Link.